Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph and this is Expeditions Rome. Um, I went ahead off camera and looted all the bodies, went through all the inventory stuff that we got, equipped a couple of new items, wiped out um, a bunch of items to turn them into uh, crafting gear, and uh, now we're ready to leave. So that's what we're going to do. Sector is conquered. We just have to capture stuff. Oh, let's see. Legion mission gets us some um, medicine. We don't really need medicine. That's a gladiator school. Let's go ahead and grab this farm. And then we... Want to head back to here. We got an injured soldier, so we need to put him in the tent. Thank you for sending me those schematics your people found. I've made... ...the list of materials needed, whenever you have a moment to go over it. I heard in Rome, women change color of their hair. Maybe I will get a different color in Rome. Like... What? How about... yellow? Is this possible? Trust me, Dayanera. You don't want to be blonde in Rome. Why? Let us just say it's undignified. All right, let's look at our quests. Still need that wine. Still don't have enough money. So we're going to go start looking at another sector here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move up this way. It's not showing the path, which is weird to me. That's a quarry. Okay, I saw it there. We want the hunting grounds. So we'll go ahead and dispatch our legion there. Go to this cart. What's that? Legion mission. Get money for medicine. Okay. Do 
Did we succeed in that? Two farms, got a tannery. Iron mine, we need a lumber mill. Need a lumber mill. Go ahead and take this place. Why is this not? No, I don't want to do that. Keep going there. Why is this not highlighted anymore? Well, I don't know what happened there. Bandits of Greece. The roads of Asia Minor are not safe outside the territories you've liberated. And the war is a perfect opportunity for criminals. As you and your Praetorians are making your way through this region, you sense that trouble is brewing up ahead. It would be wise to send a scouting party into advance. Form a scouting party. Well, we'll take me. I know, Cyrenos. Julia. Say Titus. Marcus. This Marcus. Form a small scouting group and send them ahead of your main party. As expected, a group of bandits are laying in wait down the road. They look formidable. Lacked first, huh? Okay, that's not a good thing. Oh, we're surrounded. Holy smokes, we are very surrounded. We could escape or just kill everybody. look tough these guys don't look as tough
I keep forgetting. You hit, you just take out the shield. What's this bleeding gonna do? Minus two health return. Okay, that guy's gonna die in the bleeding. Yourselves. The gods will carry us to victory! Alright, we can probably escape now. <laughs> of course, all these archers are tearing us up. Storm up! We'll face them together! Not meh. I was two away. I hate that that you can't anyways, yeah, it's I don't like it. Nice shot.
at those bastards. Form up. We'll face them together. Or where that came from. A little bit better. And it'll put bleed on him, which do two points of damage per turn. And we don't want to run around in these call traps, so we're going to go ahead and strengthen our shield again. Guys, back a little bit. <laughs> ah, quit throwing call traps. Call traps all over the place here. Yeah, let's go ahead and strengthen the shield again. I don't want to run through this call drop since these guys are funneling through my, their own call drops. Well, he didn't. But this guy's doomed. Just one left to deal with. Uh. 
Alright. Yay! We did it. Ah, there's a ton of those guys. I didn't think we were going to do it at first. Let's do some looting. Sword, spear, rations. Rations, shield. Money. Let's see. Spear, dagger, wine. Flip. Rations, money. Sword, spear. Money. Money, money. Bow, dagger. More so shield. Uh, uh, rations. Alchemist equipment, more money, medicine, food. Right, is there any, like, chests floating around out here? Alright, looks like we got everything. Let's head out. We did it! I thought that might be a good area to, to, you know, fight in. But I was also like, yeah, that way we're, if things start going south, we can just run away. going to be in a different uh, province. Alright, let's do this battle. Alright, so right now the enemy's going to lose morale and everybody's going to lose stuff. So if we take this guy, that'll all remain the same. We take this guy, it'll all remain the same. We take this guy, enemy will lose even more manpower. Enemy will lose even more man. Well, we'll take this guy because that's even more. I mean, they're gonna lose 100 to our 150 to our 50. So you're gonna go. How do you wish to deploy? Alright, so that's going to have us lose 50 guys, go missing. This counters that. 50 go missing, but 200 of their guys die. I like that idea. Extended line, plus 10%, but missing guys. Let's go with weak center. Alicate hostes in infamata mamidium acum. 9 to 19, not a bad ratio there either. We are ready to engage the enemy. So enemy aggression is right now going to go up with defense down. Let's see, hold position. Keeps it the same. Charge, the enemy loses manpower. We're not using Luculius's gambit. So let's go with charge. Charging our formation. All right, so enemy aggression is going to go 25. Repel cavalry. Get a common loot. Okay. 
Enemy aggression goes up and we get a common loot. Well, that's stand firm. Enemy aggression goes up. Well, let's let's do this one here. Let's repel the cavalry. So right now we're going to lose, so that's not going to do anything. We'll lose 50 manpower, but we'll take out 300 to 150 of them. Show mercy, we'll recover some of our losses. But they'll get away with 600 guys. I'm going to chase them down. It's not the hostibus! Eos Pesta Clivini! All right, we got 73 denarii, 18 slaves, 36 rations, and money and salvage. All right, so. Let's see. Region is... This region is severely lacking infrastructure. You can sign your legion. You can assign your legion for some time to assist with improvements, which will gain you the trust of the locals. The legion is currently unavailable. All right, let's. All right, that's the enemy's running away. So 10 hours just to do it. Okay. We're running low on men. We're not running low on men, but we're running low on... We need to get more men. Rations for denarii. This one's going to cost... Take 6 hours. Costs 100 denarii. This is extra time. It's going to cost us money and experience. Well, I don't want to cost experience. Take the cheap option. The, the money option. Enemies on the move. On your travels throughout the sun-baked landscape of Asia Minor, you have picked up a few rumors and stories of a priest who some claim receives visions of the gods. Today you realize you were close to the place where this priest is said to live. Your more spiritually inclined Praetorians ask you to make a slight detour to speak with this man. The priest's name is Avarice. His acolyte welcomes you welcome you to or blah, reading is hard. His acolytes welcome you with great respect and take you to the beautifully decorated cave in which he dwells. Oddly, Avarice himself seems unsurprised to see you. He had been expecting you, he says. He had a vision in the night that a great dark mass arose in the east and began to roll inex inexorably down the mountain towards Kaisakos. This can only mean one thing. The army allied with Mithridates aims to recapture Kaisakos. Kaisakos. It seems you have a few days to prepare. Together with the priest, you discuss a few options. Hire local mercenaries, 200 denarii to lay an ambush, send a Praetorian to warn the legion so they can prepare for the attack, increasing your defense. Uh, let's hire some mercenaries. Unexpectedly, the priest's acolyte is able to recommend a band of soldiers 
that would be willing and able to carry out such a mission. Clearly, there is more to this priest than meets the eye. You give him his money, and he gives you the strictest assurances that the task will be carried out swiftly. You know that Kaisakos is currently unprotected. Unless you garrison a legion to defend it, none of your preparations will matter. All right, so let's take a look here. This is going to take us nine hours, but Kaisakos is way the hell over here, so we're going to come this way, and it's going to take our legions a long time to get here. No. Cancel task. Oh, my goodness. Holy smokes, what are we doing over here? Oh, that's us. This is the Legion. No. That's the Legion. Where are we? That's us. What the bloody hell is going on? What the f Garrison. Holy smokes, that was terrible. All right. <sighs> why did this can't... I don't know why this didn't take place. So we still have to capture all of this. We have to wait for the attack to come. But while we're waiting on that... Now that we've got that taken care of. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Slavers. You pass many travelers on the road, most of which do not pay attention to your formidable group. Passing through a small settlement with a surprisingly bustling market, you somehow find yourself encircled by a group of traders peddling survey. They do not look particularly friendly. Uh, push through the crowd, ignoring the merchants. We have nothing. They have nothing we need. You slip through the crowd, skillfully and silently. Soon, the survey traders lose your track. You have avoided an unnecessary fight. What's this? Ah, garrison at the outpost. Armor. How many dudes are in here? 3,000, wow. That must be where the main bad guys are. 2,500. There's the attack on the chart. What 
is this? Oh well, okay. Pontus Scout Camp. No, nope, we don't want to go in there yet. I'm sure that'll be a quest. Lair of the Chimera. Springing, springing seemingly out of nowhere, the half-naked man blocks your path, babbling nervously. Travelers, beware. Go no further. It's Lair. You are approaching great danger if you continue along this path. Be calm and explain yourself. The Chimera! You are in the domain of the Chimera, and she demands tribute. Interesting. I should like to see such a beast. Lead us to its lair. Follow me, then. But draw your weapons and keep your wits about you. For I have seen the glow of its fiery maw. The man leads you to a weird-looking crack among the rocks atop a jagged hill. A dense smoke and a putrid smell emanates from the hole. Here it lives. Place your offerings into the mouth of the Chimera. If you ignore my warnings, you will be forever cursed. Now let's put ten rations in there. Hoping the Chimera hasn't eaten yet, you carefully reach into the hole and offer the great beast some food. Contrary to everyone's expect ex expectations, nothing happens at first. But without warning, a column of flame bursts out of the crack with roaring fury. You barely leap clear of its path. When the flames gradually subside you you bleh. when the flames gradually subside you risk a look into the hole naturally the food is gone at least the chimera is pleased okay where's the enemy troops there they are guys are here. 1,800 guys are there. Maybe we'll come here. Now nah, we'll probably go back and finish this one since we've already got it partially done. All right, so right now we are looking at losing 100 people. They're going to lose five morale, and we're going to lose, and they're going to lose 50. So I like, don't like those odds. So here, the morale is going to go down. We both lose the same amount. Same there. Here, we're going to lose 100 guys. Here, they're going to lose 150, and we're going to lose 100. Let's go with this guy. The 
men are awaiting your orders. So multiple channels, everybody loses money. Oh, that's an elephant there. I was like, what sort of monster is that? It's an elephant, which evidently the Romans thought were giant monsters when the first time they encountered them, so that makes sense. Enemy loses and we gain loot. Enemy loses a lot of money, or not a lot of money, but a lot of troops. Let's go this way. in Five, six to our well. have reached the enemy lines. Uh, no. Wow, either way it's not good. There we lose money, get loot, and they gain aggression. Here we lose troops. They don't we get loot and but they don't gain aggression. So let's go with this one. Eighty-three to sixteen. Nice. Like those numbers. Defense at minus 15. Gives enemy aggression. Oh, we get morale. And they lose. I like that. Equities! So they're leaving, so we can celebrate, celebrate. Um, we can chase them and just wipe them out entirely. But we'll lose 50 dudes. Or we can show mercy and get some troops back. Let's go ahead and show mercy to get some troops. Vassiriamo! So we got 28 denarii, 17 slaves, 57 rations, money, and loot. More importantly, we got some more troop guys. And... Alright, so now we need to go back to here. Guys, they got here eighteen hundred. All right, so we kind of got we're going to head back this way. Oh, we got this thing here. We got a wagon. Let's go to the wagon.
Okay, so we're just waiting on these guys to finish their thing. The underwater cave. A beautiful lake attracts the attention of your wary Praetorians. The fresh water is crystal clear and home to myriad different species of fish, most of which have never been seen before. The water looks inviting, but there are strange bubbles rising from the depths. Your people think this would be a good place to make camp. I don't like it. The water looks dangerous. Fearing for the safety of your Praetorians, you decide not to make camp. This proves to be an unpopular decision. Your people, of course, obey you, but clearly nobody approves of your decision here. Well, might have just been a hot spring, but it could have been something worse. sector has been conquered. Heraclea. Let's go get this. Heraclea. All right, nobody leveled up. All right, so what do we got here? A workshop. Uh, leave a Praetorian here to unlock new level 1 battle stratagems or craft 1 use stratagems. Upgrade to unlock level 2 stratagems. So that might be good. Palisades. Increase your legion strength when the outpost is attacked by 5%. Depot. Increase your legion strength when conquering new, legions, new regions by 10%. Um, ooh, that's nice too. I like the workshop though for the new the new stratagems Dante, perhaps it's time we upgrade our camp stockpile I'm sure I don't need to tell you how much that might improve the effectiveness of our siege equipment okay There are no new unlocks available at this time. Assign a Praetorian. Okay, so close. What's this? Oh, that's the... Alright, who's good in the workshop? Trained recruiter will dramatically increase chance um, of new recruits. Okay. Group moves faster. Recruiter. Oh, we don't have anybody in the bath anymore. We need to put someone back in the bath. Uh, 
instructed to command legions in battle. Morale. We're going to put you back in the bath. In the bath. No Praetorians who would currently benefit from leisure time. Well, uh, let's see. Strongly approve. Someone who's particularly crafty can speed up construction of Praetorian or Legion items. Praetorian or Legionnaire items. Curing items, free replenishments, scavenging materials, place tactical. Okay, we're going to put you there. All right, designed to a bath, but nobody, I don't, can't put anybody in a bath. Talented recruiter. Talented recruiter will dramatically increase the chance of new recruits matching the level of skill of the legatus. Leave Praetorians here to refresh the available recruits. Available recruits will be between level one and six. Upgrade. Oh, I think it's. Refreshes these guys, not, not, uh, not troops. All right. Thirty nine hundred active manpower. Legate, perhaps it's time we upgrade our camp stock file. Actually, I'm sure I don't off. need to tell you how much that might improve the effectiveness of our siege equipment. Can we do more upgrades? What else can we upgrade? We don't have the wood for that. We can upgrade the depot, or we do do a depot, a level two depot. Let's do that. All right. And with that, let's call it a day. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate that as well. As always, I've been Sir Joseph. You guys have been awesome. Until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you later.